Hi folks, Hugo Rivera here with HugoRivera.net and today I want to talk about trans fats and partially hydrogenated oils which are basically one and the same thing. What are trans fats? Basically what they are is just a regular vegetable oil like soybean oil that undergoes a process called hydrogenation. What this process is is the addition of hydrogen atoms to the uh, molecular structure of the fat. And why would somebody do this? Well, the reason for that is because it extends the shelf life of food. So basically, if you go ahead and prepare foods like pastries, for example, like cookies or, or pizza crust and things like that, if you go ahead and add trans fats to foods, you're going to allow them to last much longer. Now, while this is a great idea for the, for the shelf life of food, it's not a great idea for your life because if you consume trans fats, basically it's going to have some really adverse effects on your health because the problem with trans fats is that they have a higher melting temperature, okay? The temperature of these fats at which they become liquid is well over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And guess what? Your body operates at around 98 degrees Fahrenheit and you can, all, you can only just suppose that if you're operating at a lower temperature than these fats and you're putting this stuff in your body, well guess what, it's going to go in and it's going to harden up and it's going to harden up in your arteries and it's going to go ahead and increase your bad cholesterol and it's going to uh, decrease your good cholesterol which all can lead to a nice heart attack at the end and in addition to that it's also going to go ahead and uh, lower your ability to uh, process insulin okay and insulin is a very important hormone because this hormone is the one that carries the carbohydrates uh, around your body and uh, carries also the amino acids into the uh, cells and that's an oversimplification of what really happens but you get the idea and uh, basically if, if insulin is not accepted into the cells it's like a truck that is taking all the raw materials to a construction site and then suddenly somebody over there tells them no just go back you know well guess what you're not going to be able to grow muscle and lose fat efficiently if this is the case and let's even forget about building muscle and losing fat your health simply is just not going to be great because your insulin sensitivity is down which will go ahead and lead to uh, diabetes but at any rate you know these trans fats are bad news nobody should be consuming them and unfortunately they are pretty much everywhere as far as like fast foods completely riddled with trans fats most of the fats food out there is it has trans fats in it okay so you'll find the trans fats in, in like I said fries pastries you know cookies um, pretty much anything that says that it contains partially hydrogenated oil and that's in the ingredients label it has trans fats and there's a very nasty trick out there that I've seen in some of the labels where the label says zero trans fat but then when you look at the ingredients it says partially hydrogenated oil how can that be? well the reason for that is because legally speaking as long as you don't have a full gram you can actually list it as zero so if you have like say I don't know 0.9 grams of trans fat per serving then you can go ahead and say that it has zero trans fats believe it or not crazy love but that's how it is I'm just here to inform so stay away from this stuff it's crap it's absolute garbage it's poison you shouldn't be putting it in your body okay even if you're not into lifting and bodybuilding and, and, and looking good simply for your health trans fats are bad news alright anyways that's it for today like I said, I hope that you enjoyed this video and uh, if you did, just click like on the button below and also share it with your friends and uh, Google Plus and uh, Facebook and Twitter and remember to visit my website for free training, nutrition and supplementation information at www.higorivera.net where you'll find tons of information on uh, these topics and you can also sign up to my free newsletter which you'll get a couple times a week and just for signing up I'll throw in a free ebook on how to gain muscle and lose fat at the same time hope to see you soon until then take care and train hard